Dan Buettner is a National Geographic researcher and writer who, along with his team of researchers, asked the following question. What can we learn from those people who live the longest? Looking at the entire population of our planet, they sought out communities who outlive other communities, places where there are more centenarians than anywhere else, where average lifespan is significantly higher, and where more people are not only living longer, but also living better. In other words, leading full and fulfilling lives well into their 80s and 90s. Buettner and his team identified five such locations. The Japanese island of Okinawa, the Babagia region of Sardinia, the Nicoya Peninsula of Costa Rica, Loma Linda, which is just outside Los Angeles, and the Greek island of Ikaria. Initially, some researchers claimed that genes were largely responsible for the longevity of these people, but it turns out that there is nothing unique in their genes. The people of the Blue Zones live longer because they live differently. And all of us can learn from them how to live longer and better. Okay, so what do they do or have? In addition to regular physical exercise, a supportive social environment, and a sense of purpose, nutrition ranks high among the causes of longevity. Interestingly though, residents of the Blue Zones are not extreme health fanatics. While they eat a lot of nuts, fruits and vegetables, as well as drink plenty of water, they also eat meat and drink wine. The key though, is that they do it all in moderation. Buettner notes that one of the goals to a healthy lifestyle is moderation in all things. When it comes to food, it turns out that quantity is no less important than quality. Given the excess of tasty and tempting food that often finds its way to our kitchen, how do we practice moderation? There's a very important lesson we can learn from the Okinawans. Before every meal, the residents of the Japanese island say the following mantra. Eat until you're 80% full. This is a very healthy reminder. On the one hand, they do not starve themselves, which is unhealthy. And on the other hand, they do not overeat. Interestingly, in the West, we mostly say, I'm full before we stop eating. In Okinawa, they say, I'm no longer hungry. This is a subtle but important difference. Another way of eating less is eating slowly, mindfully. If we devour our food, the message that we ought to stop only reaches our brains long after our stomach is full. If, on the other hand, we take our time while eating, our brain receives the message that we've had enough before we overdose. By eating in moderation, not too much and not too little, we maximize our energy levels, strengthen our immune system, improve our mood, and increase the likelihood that we'll live longer. As Dan Buettner points out, we can add both years to our lives and life to our years. Where in your life do you engage in excessive and unhealthy behavior? Do you eat too much or not enough? Do you exercise too little or too much? Make a list of areas in your life where you need to do more or less of something. Now focus on your eating habits. Before every meal, and if necessary during the meal, remind yourself to stop when you're 80% full. Use your smartphone calendar, put up a sign in your kitchen with 80% written on it, or find some app that will help you remember. More generally, slow down. Take time before a meal to remind yourself of the Okinawan mantra. Take the time to savor each bite. You will enjoy the meal more while eating less. A true win-win. There are numerous myths about people searching for the fountain of youth. And while we have yet to discover that fountain, following the advice of the Blue Zones can help us live longer in the meantime, increasing our chance of being around when that fountain is finally discovered.